Chlamydia. Sex with chlamydia. Chlamydia is the number one sexually transmitted disease worldwide. It's very common amongst youth in both male and females. It's a silent disease, just like high blood pressure. You know, it has no incubation period. And it can be in a woman's body, in a man's body for years, and they will have no clue. Some people are asymptomatic, while some people show the symptoms. And this is why it's very important to always protect yourself when you are having sexual intercourse. And it's always advised that even while you are married, you should have regular screening, married or not, regular screening, because... Chlamydia can affect the mouth, the anus, the vagina, and the penis. Before we continue with today's topic, if you have been watching and you're enjoying this content, smash that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you. And if you have been watching and you have never smashed that subscribe button and you have not turned on that notification bell, I love you too. Let's roll in. Chlamydia, the number one sexually transmitted disease worldwide. It's very common amongst youths. A lot of people who love to experiment with anal sex, oral sex, vaginal penal sex, they are most likely to have chlamydia. What are the symptoms of chlamydia in men? Urinary tract infection and an abnormal discharge. What are the symptoms of chlamydia in women? Pain during sex, especially around the pelvic area, abnormal discharge, pain during urination, bleeding during periods, and frequent urination. Now, remember this. These symptoms are only seen in some infected individuals. That means some people can have chlamydia and they look healthy. They have no abnormal discharge, no pain during sex, but they are healthy carriers. The men will be okay. The women will be okay. So what are the, some of the factors that I would like you to know about chlamydia? Number one, if you have had chlamydia before, you are at high risk you are more prone or susceptible to getting HIV AIDS. Number two, as a pregnant woman, you should test yourself and test your spouse because chlamydia can be passed from mother to child and cause pneumonia and conjunctivitis in the baby. So it's important that as a lady, if you have gotten yourself tested, please get your spouse tested. If you're a pregnant lady and your spouse hasn't gotten himself tested, please use a condom. You need to protect yourself during pregnancy and protect the baby during pregnancy so you don't have a high-risk pregnancy where you can lose your life. Number three, Treatment is easy. You can get treated by taking some antibiotics. But it is important that if you're sexually active and you have multiple partners, and even if you have one partner, please do go for regular checkups because chlamydia can stay asymptomatic or without symptoms in the mouth of an adult, in the anus of an adult, and in the reproductive organs of a male or a female, it is important that you do not minimize this mode of transmission. This is for those who are involved in anal sex, oral sex, and penile to vagina sex. Remember, there are some people who kiss a lot of people. And this can also be transmitted by kissing an infected person. Now, if you're having oral sex, you transmit these microorganisms, these bacteria, to the reproductive organ. If you're into anal sex, you're using toys, a lot of these things come into play. 
So please be cautious. Also remember that while you're taking your antibiotics, no sex. You have to make sure that you take the right antibiotics after an antibiogram has been done and it's been prescribed by a doctor. Don't go to the pharmacy and ask for a doxycycline drug and take by yourself and make sure you take it for the period of time that the doctor has told you to take it. The next point is you can get reinfected. If you are not careful, if you don't protect yourself, if you're careless about your sexual health, if you have multiple partners, you can easily get reinfected. Let's say I am married and uh, I get screened, I get my treatment, but my spouse doesn't get any form of treatment. When I sleep with that person, when I have unprotected sex, when we are involved in oral sex and kissing, I can get reinfected. So it is very vital that both partners should go into proper screening. And the next point is do regular checkup even when there are no symptoms. Don't wait until you start experiencing some of the symptoms that I have mentioned before you go to see your GP or to see your doctor. It is important that once you're sexually active, you need to start doing this test. And in some countries, chlamydia tests and ch chlamydia treatments are free. So please do get yourself screened and get your treatment. Next point, chlamydia can be prevented by using a condom or dental dams. Remember that they are vaginal to penile condoms and they are anal condoms and they are dental dams. So please do protect yourself. Next point, chlamydia can affect other parts of the body. Now, if you have oral chlamydia, it can give you sores in the mouth and it can cause sore throat. If chlamydia affects your eye, like with babies, and even some adults do have uh, chlamydia, it will give you conjunctivitis. Now, if you have anal chlamydia, as for those who do anal sex, you experience pain during penetration and bleeding. And the last point is it's the number one cause of infertility in both male and female. So how does it cause infertility in men? It affects the epididymis. It causes pain and inflammation of the testes. In women, it causes pelvic inflammatory disease. That's PID. That means the bacteria causes scarring in the pelvic area. In some cases, uh, it prevents the sperm from fertilizing the eggs. And in some cases, it prevents the released egg from traveling to the womb. So this is a disease that you should actually be screening yourself for constantly. Make sure that you take care of your reproductive health and your sexual health. So thank you for joining me in today's class. I remain your seasoned medical professional. Gwendolyn Hallett.